Yesterday we heard very vivid words from Jesus who identifies himself as truly the Savior, the eternal Son of the Father. He said yesterday, before Abraham came to be, I am. So those words tell us about Jesus is the eternal Son of the Father. Today we hear how Jesus says, I am in the Father and the Father is in me. He was explaining to the people that he has been sent by our Heavenly Father to be the Savior. And he performed so many miracles. He cured the blind, the deaf, the, the crippled. He fed the hungry. He multiplied the loaves and the fishes. There were many, many signs, but people did not believe. They wouldn't believe what they saw and they wouldn't believe what they heard. Missouri has a motto, the show me state. And, and there people, we are told, say, I have to see it to believe it. But even though the people here were seeing Miracles, they wouldn't believe that Jesus is the Son of God. Jesus came to bring good news. He came to bring the gift of salvation. But somehow there was a resistance to that good news. Likewise, the prophets came to Jerusalem and pronounced a message from God about hope and good news. They were telling the people to repent, turn away from paganism, be faithful to the commandments. Today we hear from Jeremiah the prophet, and because he spoke the truth, people wanted him dead. He came to telling the people that if they would follow the way of the Lord, there would be great blessings. But if they did not follow the way of the Lord, there would be great death and destruction. The first 45 chapters in the book of Jeremiah are about God's judgment and the destruction of the city of Jerusalem. Jeremiah is called the weeping prophet because the people were so resistant to his words. Jeremiah was so frustrated because they did not respond to the message of repentance. But Jeremiah is also called the prophet of hope because he told the people that if you follow the way of the Lord, there are many blessings. And this is a line from Jeremiah. For I know the plans I have for you, plans to prosper you, not to harm you, plans to give you a hope and a future. So he was telling the people, please choose the right path. Unfortunately, they refused. Jeremiah stood up and told the truth. First, he was condemned to death by being placed in an empty well. And the idea was that he would starve to death there. That was his death penalty. But he was rescued. But later on, he was stoned to death. Jesus comes with words of hope. He comes with words of repentance, like the prophets before. But he too is put to death. But by his death, we have life. Even his good friends turned away. Je um, Judas Iscariot betrayed him. Peter denied him. The other apostles ran away. Their faith was weak. But Jesus, by his death and resurrection, gives life. And when the apostles encounter Jesus, the one risen, they were full of hope. 
And with the coming of the Holy Spirit, they were full of courage and they could go out to the ends of the earth to share the good news, even when it would mean they too would give their lives. So let us live our lives in hope. Let us continue that process of repentance in our own life with prayer and sacrifice and charity that we can be with Jesus in the work of salvation, in the mystery of his wonderful saving power so that we can be Christified, so that we can be transformed, that we can help to build the kingdom of God, a kingdom of life and love, a kingdom of truth and peace.